Hey guys, welcome to our channel. I've got a nice box with a great laptop inside, Acer Predator Helios 300 2018. The box feels well done quality and it has pretty simple design outside with just few signs of Predator on both sides of the box. So there is one here and another one is right there. As well, you can see the advertisement of the Predator movie. Let's don't waste our time and start our unboxing. The previous version of this laptop in 2017 was one of the best valued gaming laptops. It had a lot of great features and basically 2018 solution is just an upgraded model but with a few new features. There are screen, CPU and thermal design. On YouTube you have a lot of reviews with 144Hz screen panel and is undoubtedly the biggest addition to this gaming laptop in this price range. But for that review guys we have got a regular 60Hz screen and it's still extremely good. Unfortunately, it doesn't have narrow bezels as HP Omen 2018, but it gives you much better quality for that price. On the screen you can see specs of our review model. In 2018, the exterior casing hasn't changed. The top lid and the top of the keyboard is still all metal, whereas the bottom is still only plastic. It has a strong angular lines, making the design stand out. But you can feel a little bit dated with the latest laptop going for a more smooth design. In general, it gives you that aggressive gaming look and feel, but just so that it's not too over the top. And for sure, you're not gonna be ashamed to take it out to Starbucks or college, because it doesn't really scream that it's a gaming laptop. This laptop, like most budget gaming laptops, is a little heavier than related gaming laptops, which can limit portability if you are someone that you need to carry out every day. It is also quite a thick gaming laptop, 27.9 mm, but it's again really good for cooling and keeping the temps down when playing demanding titles. You get a good part selection with all the usual parts that you need to game and work comfortably on the go. Headphone jack and two regular USB ports on one side and on the other side you'll have Ethernet port, USB Type-C, HDMI, USB 3 and SD card reader. One thing that is missing here is Thunderbolt 3 port. But it's not really necessary to have one, because the price for external GPU about $1000. On the back of the laptop we have two separate covers for the memory and a hard drive. Memory slots which can be upgradable up to 32GB and HDD slot usually comes with 1TB HDD which can you simply swap to SSD drive. When you open the whole cover, be careful not to break it up. Once you're there, you have an access to the Wi-Fi card drive slot for NVMe SSD. You also have access to the fonts, which was upgraded since last year. The Acer Helios 300 2018 does a really good job at keeping the hardware cool and is definitely a great improvement from the previous edition. It has two metal fans next to each other with the heat pipes transferring the heat out of the laptop. Under heavy load and long gaming periods, the top of the keyboard can become a little hot around 53 degrees, but you'll not experience any visible thermal throttling. Also, at full speeds, the fans can get loud. Overall, guys, the heat management is really good on the Acer Predator 2018, and it's a great improvement since the last year. The laptop has 48 watts battery, 
This is quite small for such a powerful machine and you can expect maximum of 4 hours for light work like browsing movies and so on. For gaming it will be much less, so it's better to keep it plugged in all the time. But honestly guys, that's what you have to expect from such type of machine. On the Helios 300 the sound is quite good, I would say 4 out of 5. It crisp and loud, maybe doesn't have enough buzz, but it's still perfectly fine for the gaming laptop. As I mentioned before, it has a 60Hz panel, which is great compared to HP Omen 2018, Dell G5 and Legion Y530. Building screen has really good viewing angels. It has 60Hz, 290 nits brightness, 59% of sRGB and 45% of RGB. I would say it should be fine for photo and video editing. Maybe color accuracy could be a little bit better, but you always can swap the APS panel to 144Hz just for extra 100 bucks. The keyboard and the trackpad haven't changed since last generation. The trackpad is using Windows Precision driver and it's quite good. But we all know it will not get used too much on a gaming laptop. The keyboard really well built and has a good rubber feel that makes it comfortable. You only get the red black lightning, so no RGB guys or any other color options. Performance on that device is great. This model gets a GTX 1060 with 6GB of dedicated RAM which will run most of the latest AAA titles at high ultra settings. It comes with an i7 of 8th generation, which is about 25% more powerful than the previous generation of CPU i7. This is really powerful CPU and you'll be able to push the performance up to its limits. It will be great choice for the gaming and video editing. There is no throttling on that laptop and temperatures for that CPU are not going higher than 90 degrees, the GPUs take cold all the time. While gaming, fans get a little bit loud, but not that much that you have to put on your headphones. And you also get fan control through the Predator Sense. Overall guys, the Helios 300 is a great laptop. Fantastic value for gaming or video editing laptop, there are two options as I said, 60Hz panel and 144Hz panel, and both of them are fine for you. If you can afford, go with 144Hz, in this price point you will not find the better offer. I would say it's the best value on the market for game and video editing in 2018. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, see you next time, please thumbs up and subscribe! When the bow is in the party, everybody put up their hands, I get a half a